Hey, bear. Hey, oh. Let's, we'll check this out on the way back. Here's a pretty nice brown bear track. Textbook. Textbook. You see that the claws are over an inch from the toes. The toes are tight together and just a slight arc on those toes. Uh, not a, like half of a circle like a black bear would be. And we'll measure the pad. It's about 13 centimeters. So this is a different bear uh, and I'll get a picture of it. Hi, I'm Tanya Lewis with Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve. I'm a bear biologist and I spend most of my summers traveling from site to site collecting data on bears and I also spend a lot of time educating the public on bear natural history and safety. There's some tracks up there. One of the great things about Glacier Bay is that we have a huge amount of land with very little people and influence of people. So it's a great place to study bears in their natural environment. We also study bears because we have a fair number of campers along the shoreline of Glacier Bay. A lot of our research is geared towards minimizing bear-human conflict and figuring out ways that we can direct human use so that it minimizes disturbance to bears as well. There's some other ones too here. Yeah. yeah, this is a small guy and a big guy. Small right? guy and a big guy, yep. But let me just look down here to see if we see have the telltale perfect bear. What I look for is the long claws, and right here you can see that this is at least an inch from the claw from the toe, and that indicates brown bear with their long claws. And also the toes are fatter and more squished together, and the whole track is pretty wide. Uh, like that track. I have a ruler here is about 17 centimeters or also six and a half inches. Uh, you could get a black bear that big but unlikely. So it's a brown bear and there's also another smaller set here that I can't, uh, haven't gotten a good look at um, but I will document the presence of brown bears here at this visit. I'm going to walk this bear's uh, tracks with my GPS and note that it's a single-use trail brown bear with a width of 17 centimeters. There's a smaller one too. Could be a cub, huh? just based on size. It does look to me more like a black bear because see how the toes are um, smaller and more, more room between toes and it kind of has the curve like that. But what I found is that young brown bears have a similar curve with their toes so it gets a little confusing but we'll try and find a better track of that animal if we follow it this way. If you live in bear country, it's really important that you don't have anything outside your house that could attract a bear, such as pet food or bird food or trash or compost, uh, because once a bear gets food from people, it can become a big problem. In the back country, we have a way in Glacier Bay of keeping our food, and it is a bear-resistant food container. And you keep all your food and scented items in here and lock it up at night and put it away from your tent and then in the morning, if you want to get your food, you can pop the top off, and there it is. Bears can't get in here, and they can't chew it, and they can't really move it either too well because it's so round, they can't bite into it. And these things have been very effective in a lot of national parks and other places in keeping bears from getting food and ultimately reducing risk for bears and people in bear country.